Hi, this is Ashley at confectionaryhouse.com and today I'm going to show you how to wrap your homemade chocolates in our foil candy wrappers. We carry our candy foil wrappers in an assortment of sizes. We have three by three candy foil wrappers, four by four, six by six, we also have six by seven. We have this in a lined wax paper backing and an unlined. Our candy foil wrappers are a food safe foil and they're about the thickness of a candy kiss foil. And our six by seven foils that are lined with a wax back are like a traditional chocolate bar foil wrapper. Although you can use either waxed or unwaxed for your chocolate bars, these are just a little bit heavier and thicker. To wrap your chocolates with candy foils, you'll need to select the correct size for the size chocolate that you'll be wrapping. For smaller chocolates like this one, you'll need a smaller wrapper. For larger chocolate bars, you're going to need a larger wrapper. This six by six foil will work perfectly with this bar. To start wrapping the chocolate, if you have any kind of design on the chocolate that you want imprinted in the foil, you'll want to make sure that your chocolate is facing down onto the foil You'll pull up each of the sides and fold as you go. Smoothing it up along the edges. Make sure to pull it tight. This way the design on the top will show through. You also wanna make sure that the entire chocolate piece on the bottom is covered. This foil will stay adhered all on its own, but if you want to add a sticker or a piece of tape to secure it, you can do that as well. And then on the very top, you'll just smooth it out. And now you can see the little bow that was on the chocolate come through on the foil. Now for wrapping this chocolate bar, we're going to do the same thing. Take the front top part of the chocolate bar and face it down onto the foil. On the sides, we're going to actually fold this in first. So once I have my foil folded like this, I'm going to pinch down the corners. Once I have my edges folded in, give these edges on the sides here a little fold in so that we get a better fit. And you're gonna pull one side nice and tight over the ends here. And here you have your chocolate bar. And you can smooth this out if there's any design or impression on the top here so that you can see it through the foil. And then you can also go into like a design program and print out little custom chocolate bar wrappers and just print them on paper, wrap them around with a little tape and you'll have a custom chocolate bar wrapper to go right over this foil. And I just want to show you one last thing, how to use the wax back foil to wrap a chocolate bar as well. And this way you can see what that looks like. Again, you have your chocolate bar. You're going to face it down onto the foil. Now you'll want to make sure that however you place your bar on the foil that you have enough room on either edge to fold it over. Just like the other foil, fold each end down first and crease it and then i'm going to give each of these sides a little fold over to give it a better fit pull it tight over you can leave this as is if you're going to be wrapping a paper wrapper over it but because these are thicker they don't adhere onto the chocolate bar quite as well as the unwaxed foil so i like to just add a little piece of tape or a sticker here to secure it down but as you might notice you can't see the detail through these foil wrappers as well as you can the unlined, and that's because they have that wax coating, but they do give a nice smooth look and they are nice and sturdy if you're looking for a heavier foil candy wrapper. You can shop candy foil wrappers at confectionaryhouse.com or you can come visit us in our store located in Troy, New York, where we have all the supplies you need for your candy and baking projects.